Another ungodly hour. <laughs> Hello, my name is Austin Wallace, and I'm the host of the shit show today. Um, today we are working on shoulders and traps, getting absolutely yoked. Absolutely yoked, man. Like, holy shit, dude. I'm like the yokest guy around, dude. I'm so fucking huge, man. I'm so fucking huge. So we are starting off late. I've been busy all day, I'll explain later. I don't wanna yap right now, I kinda just wanna introduce the freaking beginning of this crazy lift vlog. We're just gonna try to have a good day today. How are you guys doing today? Um, it would be a Friday for you, so hope your Friday is going good. And uh, yeah, let's go, let's go get this in if it's late. <laughs> I'll keep repeating myself, someday we'll figure it out and be able to go do cooler things, but my time management is just not there yet. We move at our own pace. I move at my own pace just like you do. Like I said, I was gonna explain why I just been busy. My car was held up all day today. And you know, you know how much it was, this place, I went to this place to get it like diagnosed. There's so many little things wrong with my car. Like, you know, the thing that I talked about up in the wheel well, it was like hopping. It's like a control arm, which I know things about cars. I grew up working on cars with my stepdad. He had a fucking shop. My, my stepdad's a mechanic. I mean, he also fucking yelled at me when I wasn't holding a flashlight, right? Like I was a flashlight holder for a while, but I know how to change brakes. I know how to change tires. I know fucking like, I know things, but these little things, I, it's just, I don't have the tools. I live in an apartment. They want to charge me. Guess, guess how much they want to charge me to fix everything on my car, all the little stuff. Keep in mind, this is an Infinity, Infinity 2017. This thing's only worth $11,000. They want to charge me $8,000. I'm going to go get another diagnosis somewhere else. Like the fuck? <laughs> You're crazy, you're, you're absolutely insane, dude. I will do it myself in my parking lot at the apartment before then. The shirt brand that on TikTok, I, I, I started selling stuff on TikTok, on TikTok shop. Um, that went really good today, you know. That didn't take up my whole day, but like also, I was kind of procrastinating. I was kind of, I analyze a lot of shit, so I analyze a lot of stuff online because I want to do better. And also like, yeah, I feel like being, <clears throat> being yourself, being authentic is cool, but you also have to understand the new ways. If you are a creator, you have to understand the new ways of social media, what's going on. So I watch a lot of social media. I, I stay in the loop. I just want to know, you know, it's social media is a big news feed. You just want to know what's going on. Like, Especially you want to know what's going on if you work in it. You know what I mean? If you work in the social media world, you want to know. It will help when I'm like on a podcast or something. Like if people ask me questions, do you know anything about that? And I'll give them my honest answer. If I don't, I don't. But <coughs> 10 times out of 10, I would have watched it on TikTok because like F a news channel nowadays, you, you literally find everything out on social media faster, like right when it happens. So let's just go to the gym, honestly. Let's go do these traps and these shoulders. <clears throat> I wanted to show you guys <clears throat> this shirt real quick. Yeah, these are the shirts that I was talking about that aligns with like what I'm trying to do with like mental health or whatever. And then you got the back. So, yeah. The 988. No, that's a good meaning. Like, you know what I mean? It's it's for it's awareness for the people that are going through it. And that, um, you know, it's just saying, stay another day. You know, it will it will get better. I don't know, it kind of like aligns with how I'm trying to better myself, you know what I mean? Because I, I'm, I don't have the greatest mental health. I'm like depressed a lot. And it just helps with, uh, you know, I, I like the meaning behind it. And I'm selling it on TikTok, so. And I don't get a lot of money out of it. I get one dollar every shirt sold. I'll put a link for the TikTok shop, um, the video that I made about it. Something real simple. You know, you can wear it around and then maybe someone will see it or maybe you're going through it. 
and you know it'll just bring awareness to the people that are struggling with mental health so I like it I kind of want to stretch stretch it out a little bit so stretch it out a little bit my shoulders are always fucked every fucking day oh I don't have much to talk about today you know we don't have a guest today it was fun yesterday hanging out with Sydney it was a good time she was getting kind of sassy at the end I think she's just like tired of my shit we she's not used to this you know what I mean she's not used to this record everything everything's content like I don't know I wasn't used to it three years ago three year, years ago if you would have asked me if you would have came up with me to a with a camera I would have been like what the fuck because I was a blue collar like fucking lip full dip country boy you know what I mean I would be like what the fuck are you doing so like this is crazy for someone like Sydney like never recording herself to just be like yeah I'm fine with it I'll hang out like that's crazy that's a big deal like think about it do you ever put a camera on you like this is a whole ass camera it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot so I get why she gets aggravated she doesn't tell me that but I can tell it can be overwhelming but you want to go light all right It's actually not that bad, you know, it's not a bad fabric either. Like if you guys do want to like support people who are committing and shit like that, if you guys want to wear a shirt or if like you've ever done that, you know, that's your own business, but the 988 number, you can call that, you know, if you guys are going through it. I, I'm going into 2024 a new leaf. Like I'm like trying to better myself. You know, obviously I fuck around. I'm a goofy motherfucker. I'm goofy, I have fun, I'm real. Doesn't mean everything that's real is gonna be happy. I'm always going to be real, you know what I mean? So I'm just saying like, if you're always happy, you're not real, you're fake. If you're always like, how are you guys doing today? Oh my God, I'm so happy to be here with you guys. I'm having a great time, oh, I'm like the best. Those are fake people. Like I'm just saying, if you're like that and you're not real, you can tell. We all have intuition. People who act like that just like give me a weird vibe. I don't know. That's my honesty to you guys. It's literally just me talking, yapping like every day. But if you guys want to educate yourself, oh my God, I'm so big. I'm like a big old goofy, big old bodybuilder. I don't know, I'm not, but if you guys want to learn from me, obviously I'm doing shoulders. If you guys want to do these workouts, you can look through it and common sense would tell you what the workouts are. You know what I mean? I don't have to explain, like, we're doing three sets of 10. Um, I haven't been eating enough, so I'm getting really self-conscious with my body because I was bulking, I was eating a lot of calories. I don't know. I was just getting really down in the depths with that one, which kind of sucked. When you eat a lot and you're bulking, and you get fat, you kind of like go into depression even more. And I'm already depressed. So me looking big and looking in the mirror and like saying, and seeing like a fat, you know, like a bigger guy than usual, you know, makes me kind of, makes me like feel self-conscious and shit. You know, five years from now, if I was watching this video, you know, I'm some big, you know, inspirational guy. I have a podcast, you know, I'm an entrepreneur. I make it. You know, I was watching some videos just the other day. I was like, I'm so negative. I would not be happy in five years if I watched these videos. I would be really down in the dump. So on my part, I apologize. I do have to be happy. You know, I have to, obviously I don't want to be fake. I do want to tell you guys this, but I find myself drowning myself in my disappointments, drowning myself in my sorrows, so I'm sorry. But we'll move on to the next thing. <laughs> that was deep. That was some trauma dump on the, on my part. I'm sorry. All right, so yeah, like, well, this one's this machine. This is the, that one. But the other one that I was talking about goes like this, and we'll go to that one too. This one's gonna work the back, kinda. Overdo it and tear something and then be out a couple weeks. That'd be ridiculous. 
Yeah, like <laughs> today was a good day. We had, we sold some of those shirts. You know, I want to be transparent with you guys. I only make a dollar on each on each shirt, but we sold 150 shirts. That's $150 today. But you also have to pay taxes on it. So I technically only pay, I only made $50, but still. And then on top of like my other site, $200 today. 200, yeah, 200. It wasn't hard to make a video of the shirt. You know what I mean? I don't make much guys. I make enough to pay the bills. I make enough to pay the bills, which I think I'm gonna sell more products and maybe get some e-commerce a little bit more. I'm not rich. You guys know that. I'm, 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 I've been an underdog for three years, you know? Think success doesn't come overnight and success doesn't happen to people that don't want to better themselves. So me taking this step three weeks ago is definitely, you know, it's a slow go for me because like I said, I'm a late bloomer, but let's go. Definitely hurts a little bit. See that? Maybe I'm just feeling, I don't know what it feels like if I tear something, you know? I'm just being a pussy about it. <laughs> Probably. Muscles don't make you happy. <laughs> that trend is so funny. I'm happy to be alive. I do want to say that, guys. If you can't be happy about anything, if everything's going wrong in your life, just remember you could be dead. You just gotta, you gotta be grateful for what you have, you know? Like obviously you wanna accomplish things, right? Obviously everyone does. But when you don't accomplish those things, I, I'm a prime example who does it. I do that all the time. When I don't accomplish something, I get mad, I get frustrated. I put everything on my fucking shoulders, you know? But you kinda just gotta wake up and just be like, oh, well, at least I'm alive. You go like this. Oh yeah. Shoulders are shoulders are shouldering for sure. <laughs> like <laughs> like <laughs> like watch the fuck out, like literally. Don't fuck with me. gonna be all right see I want to break down and cry every second of the day but you kind of just gotta like you kind of gotta work through it I mean yeah you gotta let some tears out once in a while you know if you feel sad let it out because you don't want to bundle it all up inside you you know and then oh get overwhelmed with your own feelings talk to someone talk to a friend you know, call that 988 number if you feel that way. That might be too excessive if you don't feel, don't feel like, you know, I'm sure everyone has those thoughts, but just talk to someone that you trust. It can be anybody. It could be your cat, your dog. I'm not a cat guy. I fucking hate cats, to be honest. That's my opinion. You know, your opinion might be different. I love dogs, though. I love dogs, man. Puppy breath? Backward flies. Ooh, a lot more. I'm gonna try to hold it a little bit. Sometimes I find myself cringy because of the fact that I'm just so open and like I'm so open to trying things and when I try things, I look back at them and I'm like, oh shit, why'd I try that? But the only way you're gonna find out, the only way you're gonna find out is if you try it, like if it's too cringy to watch, but, or like, or just anything you do, like, like you're trying something out, something new. 
You might not like it, but the only way you're gonna find out is if you try, right? But honestly, we have to go down a little. We have to go down with it. Like this. I think this is one that I want to do. One more set. Imagine if I talked like that. Like I was on steroids. Do steroids make your voice higher or deeper? Would it be really high like that? Or would it be really deep like I think I've I don't know, I think it depends. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. My name's Elvis. <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling goofy. Who's letting me get goofy right now? Are you guys letting me get goofy right now? Don't let me get goofy. I think everyone has an RBF at the gym. I'm gonna do behind the back traps. I know you guys are gonna be like, you haven't really been doing cardio. Oh, I just haven't been recording it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I really haven't been doing cardio. I know. If I go too heavy on the shoulders, it will be the worst pain. Like I will have a sharp pain. It's like someone, it's like someone stabbing me right in the fucking shoulder at night. I can't go to sleep because that's how, if I go bad on the shoulders, if I go too much on the shoulders, I'm just fucked. I'm fucked all the way around. I'm like the biggest dude in here. Like I actually am the biggest dude in here. <laughs> I'm like, no one's in here. <laughs> I'm like the biggest dude in the fucking Planet Fitness right now, honestly. I'm not trying to be big though. Obviously, you guys all know. I'm just trying to fucking gain some muscle, then cut, and then look good. That's literally it. But I need to start eating more if I'm gonna fucking do that, honestly. I need to stop being a pussy too when my shoulder hurts, I guess. I don't know. <sighs> You're gonna hate me, but I kind of want to go to sleep though. We'll do cardio in the morning, how about that? We have time to get Taco Bell. You're gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Why are you getting Taco Bell? Cause I love Taco Bell, I love Taco Bell. Taco Bell is so fucking good. I am starving though. Oh, should I not have Taco Bell? Ah, oh, no. Should I save my money? How much is it gonna be, $10 for two? Yeah, we won't have Taco Bell. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, i rather just not have Taco Bell. Let's, let's go eat. I'm gonna go cook the beef and rice at home. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh shit. 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 I made it. Almost got wrecked. The thing I do like about that EOS gym, it has a swimming pool. I'm not gonna lie, a swimming pool would be nice to go in. It's like $20. We might switch to EOS from Planet Fitness. I don't know yet. I don't know. Planet Fitness is so dead. It's so not good, it's good, you know what I mean? Like I can go there at a certain time and it's no one there. Barely anyone there and I can go on machines, do my recording, don't worry about everyone else. But it seems like EOS is so good that it's always busy. Which that's good, but it's also bad because I'm trying to like film it for you guys, you know what I mean? And I, my anxiety raises up, it's just all over the place. So I can't be goofy. And you guys love when I'm goofy. You actually never told me that in the comments, but I'm assuming you do if you didn't say you didn't like it. I really enjoyed talking to you guys. Um, I hope you have a good rest of the day. Hope you have a good Saturday. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. 
Yeah, see you tomorrow, guys.